Hello guys, now in this particular video we are going to learn about the ps command. Okay, so basically what is a ps command, why we use it, we will discuss each and everything in this particular video. Okay, so what is the ps, uh, but before that we just increase the font size, now I hope it is visible. So ps is nothing but uh, process state. What does it mean? It basically means it just uh, gives us the information about the state of any process. Okay, it, we will get the PID of a number, the name of the command, uh, who is the user using that particular process. So we will get each and every information about the process. But before starting and going into the deep inside of this topic, uh, you should know what is a process. So process is nothing but the execution of a program. When I open this Firefox, it will become one of the process. When I will hit this particular thing, it will become one of the process. I know it is uh, like a uh, Anyway, come on, but still, if I will open any this music uh, rhythm box, uh, then it will become one of the process. So process is nothing but the execution of a program. Okay, so now let's uh, play with this PS command. So when you will enter the PS, it basically gives you the uh, like status of this current cell, what are the processes running in this particular uh, cell like this is one of the cell if I will open another room window of terminal it will give me the another shell okay so here you can see uh, we are just getting this ps the command which entered just and this is the bash is one of the like you can say a uh, shell which uh, acts like a parent uh, uh, process like uh, some other process use this bash to execute some kind of uh, their task okay so now let's basically talk about the, what are the, these four types of uh, like what is this like PID, TTY, okay. So let's start with the PID. Okay, so what is a PID is nothing but the process ID. What does it mean? It basically gives us you the unique identification number of a process. Like uh, uh, let me tell you the example of uh, suppose in a family member, uh, each and everyone will have the different name. Okay, not uh, like uh, two person will have the same name in a group of uh, like family of uh, two to or uh, not two, five to six members. Okay, similarly this PID is there like process ID. It uh, uniquely identifies each and every process in this operating system. Okay, it just gives you the particular number of four digit and all. So I hope that is clear to you what is the process ID. Now moving forward, that is TTY is nothing but a terminal type. It gives you the information about the what type of terminal is being used by the user. Let me just write a uh, terminal type. And yeah, if you are just watching this video, so don't just uh, keep watching, uh, make notes also. So that will be helpful for you for your further use. Now this is a time is nothing but the CPU utilization time by the process. So here it is zero because no any other process using this uh, bash shell or bash command. Okay. So this is CPU utilization time. Okay. Now moving forward, the CMD is nothing but a command which is used by like what commands uh, have been applied for this particular process. Okay. So I hope uh, it is clear to you like uh, what is PID, TTY, time, CMD. Okay. Now moving forward, uh, now you will be thinking about uh, why there is only two processes displaying. Because it, it PS minus by default displays the current uh, process in a current shell. Okay. So to get more information about the different processes, like on a boot time, there are multiple processes runs uh, like uh, on booting of our system. So let me just uh, enter this PS iPhone A. So here you can see there are the multiple processes. You can see like what are the commands has been used like uh, system D, SCSI, Polkadot. Okay, this one colored. So there are many processes here you can see in this particular like screen. So here you can see the PS command is also there uh, like uh, the PID is 6203 okay but yeah one more thing is that like if the PS command fetches the results from this particular directory PROC here if you do LS then here you will get the information about the particular thing okay so uh, in this uh, particular directory you can see many files are there like uh, like it basically fetches the particular 
information from this particular directory okay now we'll leave it and just uh, move it on to the root directory now moving forward uh, suppose uh, I just uh, create one process okay let me just create one process but before that I want to tell you one command that is one option that is ps hyphen c this command basically uh, option what basically it does it basically uh, like gives you the information about the particular process which you want okay in case if you want to get information about the particular process uh, then you can hit the name of that particular process here suppose I need information about the Firefox okay which is uh, now it's not running so I can get this so now what I will do I will just first clear the screen and I will open up this particular Firefox so now what will happen when I will click on this Firefox one process is uh, getting created and uh, then the PID is given to that particular process and you will see that in this uh, like uh, now in a second okay so let's wait now you can see the this Firefox has been started now I will use this PS hyphen C and the name of the person that is the Firefox so here you can see like from 10 seconds say that it is utilizing the CPU and the PID is given and the command is using like uh, Firefox okay like uh, you will say like you, you have not used this command but yeah let me uh, show you if I will hit into Firefox the uh, Firefox again the one terminal of Firefox will start okay it's going fail to load yeah but some module is failed but still here you can see one Firefox window has been appeared if I just close it okay so that uh, this is the first one okay so in this way you can see the information of the particular process uh, and if let me just enter one more command if I will hit here cat and it is now in the wait state like it is uh, just uh, what we can say asking for the user input one day what if I will write and anything okay it is just waiting for the user input so I can use uh, this command also yeah, like uh, I will write here cat and here you can see the PID is assigned to this particular process okay so now what I will do uh, if I want to just uh, kill any process I want to just uh, what we can say discard any kind any process then I can use the kill command and I will just give pass the parameter as this PID so I will just enter the spare as 739 and then here you will see like uh, let's see what happens so here you can see terminated the cat is now terminated and similarly you can do for this uh, what you can say for Firefox also but before that uh, let me just uh, use hyphen A option to again view the all the processes so when I will clear not okay, I will clear this can I just uh, do PS hyphen A and here you can see uh, what is the PID is 6214 let me check whether it is visible or not yeah here you can see the 62614 PID is generated okay what if I will kill this 6214 what will happen the Firefox window will get closed okay so here you can see now again I will use PS hyphen A so here you can see there is no 6214 and uh, also no there is web content uh, uh, like what you can say web content command or any process is not displaying here as you can see in the previous command here uh, let me just move back here you can see the web content process was also here so in this case what has happened uh, the 6214 PID was the parent process and uh, under this process there are many other processes like here you can see the web extensions web content and all those things okay so in this way we can uh, use this ps command to get the process of uh, any particular uh, application or any command okay now moving forward about uh, another option that is the ps hyphen u okay so what this basically going to do what it, uh, this one do so hyphen u option is basically used to giving the like you want to get the information over to some particular user so if I will use here I use so I will get this information so these are the process which are being used by my command not by my, my command sorry uh, by me actually I use as one of the user of this operating system if I will use root hyphen u root so here you can see the uh, these are some processes which are being used by the 
root user okay so also there are uh, one more option that is the AUX option PS command which is used for uh, getting detailed information over the processes so PS hyphen AUX displays the result in more uh, detailed format okay so here you can see the name of the user is uh, like displaying like whatever the user is using this particular uh, command this particular process and the virtual memory utilization TTY terminal type stat start when the process started so here you can see the 549 at 549 actually I had started by the system so it is displaying like uh, on boot time this process has been started so here you can see all the information but now here you can see at 61 this process and now at 659 this command was the was uh, used okay so in this way you can get the detailed information about uh, your process okay also you can use ps ax to get the running processes so here you can see these are the running processes okay uh, okay yeah this is the time command start okay so that's all for today's video guys. I hope you liked it and it was a very uh, interesting thing like to get uh, like uh, what are the processes being used in your operating system. If you learn more about this you will get to learn also more like uh, when you will explore personally then obviously you will get to learn more about this. So that's all for this video and we will meet you in the next one with another uh, interesting command. Uh, okay, so maybe I will create video on top command after this. So let's meet in the next one. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.